This question asks, which of the following is the most stable chair conformer of trans 1-isopropyl 3-methyl cyclohexane, which is shown in the box? A lot of people will mistakenly just pick C and say, okay, well C has both substituents equatorial, it must be the most stable. Now, if you weren't given a question statement and all you were given was these four structures and you were asked, which is the most stable, C is the most stable chair structure. The problem with C is that it doesn't match this structure on the left. It's a different isomer. The structure on the left has the methyl and the isopropyl group trans. They're on opposite sides. In C, the methyl's up, the isopropyl's up, this is cis. So the problem is it doesn't match the molecule in the box. So we need those groups to be trans. That also eliminates D because those are cis. So now we just need to compare A and B. If you want to number this, you can. Isopropyl to the methyl going clockwise. And that works out just fine in both cases. So, you know, if you're doing one of these problems, make sure you have the right relationship that the isopropyl's at one, methyl's at three, and that is the case in both. So now, just figure out which one of these is more stable. And B is going to be more stable because the larger isopropyl is equatorial. IPR is a common abbreviation for isopropyl.